This video is finding the solution you have been long looking for. And my eternal gratitude to all my viewers for subscribing to this channel and please follow regularly. And now let's get started to solve the problem on the screen. So in this problem, we have to find the eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors of the given matrix. So first of all, the characteristic equation of A. The characteristic equation of matrix A is that is A minus lambda I is equal to 0. So for that we have to take lambda from the diagonal elements that is minus 2 minus lambda 2 minus 3. This is 2. This is 1 minus lambda minus 6 minus 1 minus 2 0 minus lambda. So now I have to find out the determinant for that. See here. So first of all if you observe this one and let me tell you. So this will be minus 2 minus lambda so now you have to close this row and this column so this column if you close see what happens here so you have to multiply these two so this will be minus lambda minus lambda into this is 1 minus lambda and this is minus minus into minus this is 12 and later this is minus 2 times of minus 2 times of this time you have to close this row and this column so if you close this row and column what remains here this is minus 2 into lambda this is minus 2 lambda minus minus of minus this is plus 6 and the next one is here see this is minus 3 times of this time we have to close this row and this column so this will be minus 4 and minus of minus this will be plus 1 minus lambda is equal to 0 so got it so now we have to multiply this one. This is minus 2 minus lambda. And if I multiply this one, this is minus lambda plus lambda square minus 12. And this is minus 2. And this is minus 2 minus 6. And again, this is minus 3 times of this is minus 3 minus lambda is equal to 0. And if you observe this one, if I multiply with this minus 2 times of minus lambda plus lambda square minus 12. And this is minus lambda times of minus lambda plus lambda square minus 12. And if I multiply, this will be plus 4 lambda and this will be plus 12. And this is plus 9 and plus 3 lambda is equal to 0. So again, if I multiply here, so this is 2 lambda minus 2 lambda square plus 24 and this is plus lambda square minus lambda cube plus 12 lambda and this is 4 lambda plus 12 plus 9 plus 3 lambda is equal to 0. If you observe so there is only one lambda so this is minus lambda cube and later so if I go with squares so this is plus 2 and this is minus 2 and plus 1 this is minus lambda square. So, if I go with uh, lambda, so here it is 2 lambda, here it is lambda and there it is lambda. So, this will be, see here I didn't miss anything. So, here 4 lambda is there. So, this is 14, 18, 21. So, this is 21 lambda. And if I go with uh, constants, so these are the constants. This is 24 and this is 12, that is 36 and 36 plus 9 this is 45 so this value is 45 and if i multiply with minus then see what happens here so this is lambda cube plus lambda square minus 21 lambda minus 45 is equal to 0 so here the quotient of lambda cube is 1 so this is 1 this is minus 21 this is minus 45 so if i check this with minus 3 so if i go with minus 3 so this is 1 and this is minus uh, 3 and this is minus 2 if i multiply this is plus 6 and this is minus 15 if i multiply this this is plus 15 the value here is 0 so here i can write in for minus 3 root i can write as a lambda plus 3 and the quotient of uh, lambda square is 1 and this is 2 lambda this is minus 15 is equal to 0 so here for 15 what are the roots here so 3 into 3 5 is 15 so for minus 2 so this will be minus and this will be plus so this will be plus so this can be written as this is lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 3 lambda minus 15 is equal to 0 
and if I take lambda common here, this will be lambda minus 5. If I take 3 common, this will be lambda minus 5 is equal to 0. So, this is lambda minus 5 if I take and this is lambda plus 3. And here, if I bring this lambda plus 3 down, so this will be lambda plus 3. So, we got how many values here? So, we got lambda values as minus 3, minus 3 and plus 5. So, here our lambda values are nothing but lambda is equal to minus 3, minus 3 and plus 5. So, now we have to find out, find out the eigenvectors. So, the eigenvectors corresponding to eigenvectors corresponding to, see here, corresponding to lambda is equal to minus 3. So, in place of uh, uh, this one, in place of uh, lambda, I have to keep as minus 3. So, if I substitute, this will be minus 2. In place of lambda, if I keep minus 3, this will be plus 3, 2, minus 3. And this is 2, 1. In place of lambda, if I keep plus 3. And this is minus 6, minus 1, minus 2. And this is plus 3. So, in place of lambda, I have to keep minus 3. So, this value will be C. So, this value will be 1, 2, minus 3, 2, 4 minus 6 minus 1 minus 2 3 now i'll find out the rank for this so for finding rank i'll use this one the diagonal element the first element of diagonal element and i'll make these two zero so in order to make row 2 zero here using this one so r2 will be as it is like this and i i'll multiply with 2 r1 so 2 minus 2 is obviously zero and i have to use this one to make this zero so r3 will be so r3 i am writing as it is so i can add up these two to make zero so this is r1 so this is the simple operation i have to use i am changing 2 and 3 so r1 i can write as it is that is 1 2 minus 3 and for this r2 see see here what is the operation i have used r2 minus 2 r1 r2 I have to write as it is that is 2 4 minus 6 and minus minus 2 into r1 so minus 2 so minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 this is minus 4 minus of minus plus again i have to multiply with 2 this is 6 the value here is c this is 0 4 minus 4 is 0 and 6 minus 6 is again 0 and now r3 plus r1 so what is our r3 here minus 1 minus 2 3 is our r3 plus r1 so this is plus 1 plus 2 and this is minus 3. So, this is also 0, 0, 0. So, this is 0, 0, 0. And now, so here if you observe this one, the rank of the matrix. So, the rank of A is equal to the number of non-zero rows is 1 and N, the number of unknowns, the number of unknowns. So, this is the 3 by 3 matrix will be having x1, x2 and x3. So, the number of unknowns is 3. So, R is equal to 1 and N is equal to 3. Therefore, number of independent, number of in D, in D, sorry, independent solutions, number of independent solutions is N minus R. This is 3 minus 1, this is 2. So, we can take two solutions here. So, see, if you see here, this is 1, 2, minus 3. This is 0, 0, 0. This is 0, 0, 0 into. So, this one is x1, x2, x3 is equal to 0, 0, 0. So, if I multiply this one, that is 1 into x1. This is plus 2 into x2 minus 3 into x3 is equal to 0. So, now we can take two independent solutions. That is, x2 is equal to some... So, x3 is equal to k1 and x2 is equal to k2. So, if I keep the same thing here, x1 plus 2k2 minus 3k1 is equal to 0. So, x1 will be, if I send to other side, this will be minus 2k2 plus 3k1. So, I got all the values here. So, I am rating x1, x2, x3 as, see here, what is our x1 value? So, x1 value is nothing but minus 2k2 plus 3k1 and the next one x2 value is nothing but k2 and x3 value is nothing but k1 so now 
x1 x2 x3 value is so if i take k1 common see here in this there, uh, the quotient of k1 is 3 and here k1 there is no k1 at all and here the k1 is 1 and if you go with k2 see here the quotient is minus 2 and k2 1 into k2 and here it is 0 therefore these are the corresponding uh, eigenvectors when the eigenvalue is minus 3 so this is the value so in this value if you check check this is minus 2 1 0 and this is 3 0 1 and next the eigenvector is if you observe this one the next eigenvector is nothing but 5 so this value 5 so if you see in place of uh, lambda we have to substitute the value as 5 see here so this will be so in place of lambda the corresponding eigenvector see here eigenvector corresponding to lambda is equal to 5 so now i'll substitute the value here so if you observe this one minus 2 minus 5 and this is 2 and this is 3 again so this is 2 and this is 1 minus 5 and this is minus 6 this is minus 1 minus 2 in place of lambda i am writing minus 5 5 so here it is 5 here it is 5 now so after substituting this will be minus 7 2 minus 3 and this is 2 this is minus 4 minus 6 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 5 and now i'll interchange r2 see here uh, i'll interchange i have to i want one in the top therefore i am interchanging r1 and r3 so after interchanging so this will be row 3 will be in place of row 1 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 5 so this is row 3 in place of row 1 and again row 2 as it is and see this row 3 will be in row 1 will be in place of row 2 row 3 so now i have to hold this one so the first element of the diagonal element i have to make these two zero see only these two i am making zero so this will be r2 so r2 will be as it is so i have to multiply with 2 to r1 and i have to add see here it's very easy so if, if i multiply with 2 minus 2 plus 2 this will be 0 and next r3 operation will be again i have to use this r3 i don't disturb at all r3 like that and now in order to use this and make r3 0 i have to multiply with 7 and minus so minus r1 so these are the two operations i am giving so r1 it is as it is minus 1 minus 2 minus 5 and see here the operations r2 so what is r2 here r2 is nothing but 2 minus 4 minus 6 and this is plus 2 r1 so each and every row we have to multiply with 2 so this will be minus 2 this will be minus 4 this will be minus 10 so here the values are 2 minus 2 is 0 and minus 4 minus 4 this is minus 8 and this is minus 16 and if you see the next operation is r3 write r3 as it is that is minus 7 2 minus 3 and this is minus 7 r1 so you have to multiply the row 1 with minus 7 so this is plus 7 this is plus 7 2 is 14 this is plus and 7 5 that is 35 so the values here are 7 minus 7 this is 0 this is a 16 and this is again 32 and after that see here the next we have to use so this is the first element in the diagonal and next i am using this is second element in the diagonal so using this i have to make this one zero so for that my operation will be r3 is equal to r3 as it is and keep 16 so in order to make this zero i have to multiply with 2 and add that is 2 r2 so this is the simple operation i use r1 i am not disturbing minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 and r2 also minus 8 this is minus 16 and here if you see what is r3 here r3 is nothing but 0 16 32 and here 2 r2 so this is 0 if i multiply with 2 this will be minus 16 if i multiply with 2 this will be minus 32 so all are zeros here 0 0 0 
and now now my next operation for my convenience is r2 affected as r2 by minus 8 so this value will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 5 0 1 2 and this is 0 0 0 so here if you observe the rank of a is rank of a is this is 2 number of non-zero rows and n the number of unknowns so this is the 3 by 3 matrix x1 x2 x3 these are 3 number of independent solutions number of independent solutions so what is the formula for that this is n minus r so which is equal to 3 minus 2 one independent solution we can choose by ourselves so for that this is a continuation part here so this will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 5 0 1 2 and this is 0 0 0 and this is again x1 x2 and x3 and this is 0 0 0 so if i multiply here so this is minus 1 into x1 minus 2 into x2 minus 5 into x3 is equal to 0 if i multiply 0 into x1 is 0 this is x2 and this is 2 x3 is equal to 0 so here i can take one independent solution i am choosing that x3 as uh, some k so after choosing this one so the x2 will be so x2 will be 2k is equal to 0 and x2 will be minus 2k so this is minus 2k so if i substitute all these in the is equation so x3 is equal to 0 so this is x1 minus 2 into k is nothing but x2 is nothing but minus 2k and x3 is nothing but k is equal to 0 minus x1 plus 4k minus 5k is equal to 0 minus x1 minus k is equal to 0 and x1 is equal to k and x1 is equal to minus k so i got all the values ready here so x1 x2 and x3 values are ready if i substitute x1 x2 and x3 so what is our x1 this is minus k what is our x2 this is minus 2k and what is x3 this is again k so if you observe the values here then this will be so these are minus 1 minus 2 1 into k so this is x1 x2 and uh, x3 so these are so these are the eigen vectors so these are the eigenvectors corresponding to corresponding to lambda is equal to 5. So the so that is minus 1, minus 2, and 1. So this is so simple. And please if you go through this one. So first of all, the matrix is given like that. First we have to write the characteristic equation. So after noting all the values, we got the lambda values as minus 3, minus 3, and 5. So, first of all, this is lambda is equal to minus 3. If I substitute here, so I have to use this to make these to 0. And uh, so, the rank is automatically 1. And number of unknowns is equal to 3. We can take two independent solutions. So, these are the uh, corresponding vectors. So, if I take lambda is equal to 5. So, in place of lambda, if I keep 5 here. So, this is the matrix and I interchange row 1 and row 3 and uh, using this I made these two 0 and using this I made this 3 0 and I got the rank as uh, 2 number of unknowns I have taken one independent solution that independent solution is k and after that I got the eigenvectors as minus 1, minus 2, 1. So, this is how we have to solve and thank you for watching and staying till the end. I am pretty sure that if you keep trying you can solve automatically by your own and uh, keep practicing daily and keep on forming through your comments and you are invited to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.